Good morning. On our way to Milan to fly out to Greece this afternoon. Along the way, notice this when we first came from Milan on our way to Bologna. There are these giant rest stops that seem to have a lot of amazing food, snacks, restaurants. And you see these on the side of the road with the giant words auto grill on them. So they're gas stations slash rest stops, but they have a ton of food inside. Gotta get some breakfast slash lunch anyway. Let's go inside. Oh, this place is giant. We got stuffed animals. Look at this. Giant fins of chips. What? Crick Crook? This looks like Pringle's grandfather. Oh, they're speaking of Pringles. You got hot and spicy. Oh, there's ketchup Pringles. Hot and spicy paprika. Look at the size difference. This is a Pringles. Look at this. This is way bigger. There's food courts, a cafe. There's Burger King. You can buy pasta here. Let's see what's on the Burger King menu. Crazy cheese barbecue. A lot of plant-based stuff, Nutella stuff. They got a Bronx Steakhouse. There's pizzas, salads. Most people are here at the cafe. And this is where they serve a lot of sandwiches, coffee. Oh, pasta making kit. You got freshly made sandwiches. You can have it toasted. This one looks like some Parmesan beef ricotta cheese. Mm. One bite you can tell how fresh this is. Bread is toasted, soft on the inside. The veggie is scrumptious and crunchy. The meat is delicious, the cheese is delicious. I mean, it's a thin layer of meat, but still, this tastes like a sandwich. You find it at a really, really nice deli, maybe in the US, or a gas station here in Italy. And I've been looking at these croissants for, for such a long time. So I think it's pistachio and Nutella. They're not that flaky, but it's soft, airy, the cream is delicious. Not bad, oh, especially that pistachio cream. That tastes like someone just grounded fresh pistachios into a cream. Burger King, biggest difference is the Italian king. Italian beef, some greens, fried onions, bacon, and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, that's a dry patty. The buns are really thick and kind of dense as well. Flavor is good. Parmesan cheese on a burger is delicious. Fried onions, great. Flavor from the beef patty is amazing. It just, it's just dry. That patty combined with that, this really thick bun. When you take a bite, it, it's just a mouthful that's kind of hard to chew and swallow. Cake looks delicious. It's like a super, super dense, decadent chocolate cake with I think ch more chocolate fudge in the middle. This is heavy, but this is delicious. Like this with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, it'd be absolutely amazing. Oh, I think I got the croissant from the wrong place. Look at the croissant at this cafe. It looks flaky, it looks delicious. I get another one, but there's a line of like 20 people with one cashier. So the condiment's really interesting. They got barbecue, teriyaki, ponzu, guacamole. Pasta trio for about 10 euros. Seafood pasta, tortellini with sausage, lasagna. I think the seafood pasta is probably gonna be the best one. Seafood pasta is delicious. Seafood actually tastes fresh. Mm. Pasta is saucy and delicious. Got great flavor. Tortellini. A little dry, but very cheesy, very meaty. And the lasagna. That's the best one. The tomato sauce is so sweet and fresh. Pasta itself is beautifully cooked. There's tons of cheese, tons of meat. Mm. Overall, for about 10 euros, this is an amazing deal. And especially for pasta coming from a gas station, amazing. One last area to explore, this is the exit. So this area, wine, pasta, a lot of pasta, sauces, spices. There's candies, stuffed animals. Oh, so much stuff. Wow, look at this chocolate aisle. 
That's a lot of different chocolate. Popcorn, really interesting flavors of Pringles. Ketchup, paprika, get one of these. Paprika Pringo, I've been seeing a lot of paprika flavor stuff in this country. This is so awesome. It's a delicious Pringo. Spicy, smoky, so much flavor. Mm. <laughs> if you ever find this anywhere, get this paprika pringo the only thing i wish i saw again but the first time we stopped at one of these gas stations we saw these giant chocolate bars i didn't see any one of those i wanted to bring one of those back to the states like pretty much at these gas stations food is quality you can pretty much do your whole grocery shopping here that's a pretty fun dining experience had to rush a little bit because uh, we're a little late for the airport but that was a fun meal Welcome to Athens. It's about 11 p.m. right now. Oh, there's some food places open. All right, there's this place that's open till about 1 a.m. Meat and roses. Oh, Iberico pork. Yeah. Uh-huh. This place is amazing looking. All oh, the food is so affordable as well. The owner is so nice. Really, really excited about this. So got three salakis, Iberico pork, tagliata, and a euro. This one stuffed with fries, fresh tomatoes, slices of pork directly from the spit. By the way, first time in Greece, never been here before. Big fan of the food. This looks amazing. Onions, some spices wrapped in this grilled pita. A ginormous, meaty, delicious wrap for about four euros. You get that great roasted meat. The tzatziki sauce is creamy, it's refreshing. So are the onions and tomatoes. I know I just got to Greece. I'm sure there's a lot of great food everywhere, but this is a 10 out of 10. The pork is juicy, the sauce is fantastic. Fries provides a nice starchy contrast of vegetables fresh. This is nothing like what I've had in the States. This is just on a whole different level. And this is the Iberico. Some arugula, looks like Parmesan cheese, onions, tomatoes, Iberico pork inside, all with gorgonzola sauce. Of course, again, wrapped in a freshly toasted pita. First of all, <clears throat> Iberico pork. It's like the wagyu of the pork roll. I think it's just so tender and juicy. The sauce is cheesy, it's amazing. Also the pita is so toasty and warm. I love Greek food. First discovered Greek food in college at my school's cafeteria at Truman State. Back then I had no idea what the slices of meat were that went into a pita pocket. Took one bite, fell in love with it. Been trying out different Greek restaurants around New York, but nothing, nothing like this. Last one, tagliata. This is the steak wrap. Truffle sauce, eggplant sauce, tomatoes, arugula, onions again, Parmesan cheese. You just cannot have a bad bite. Not a single bad bite. I think I prefer the traditional Euro wrap the best because I just love tzatziki sauce. And that thing is just freshly roasted. It's got so much fat and a good amount of sear. But really, I'm just happy with any one of these. Especially happy they're open till like 1 a.m. It's about midnight right now. So pretty exhausted, super hungry. Gonna eat up and then go to bed and uh, venture starts tomorrow. It's 
hours later I had to get up really really early leaving for the airport in about um, 40 minutes I had to go and just grab breakfast this view is incredible got the Acropolis right behind me can't wait to check that out but today gonna hit to the biggest Greek island Crete for a few days I've never been to Greece I've never been to the Greek Isles this is gonna be a really fun trip breakfast this is a traditional Greek dish of scrambled eggs tomatoes and feta cheese mm. This reminds me of Chinese tomatoes and eggs, but way creamier and cheesier. Flaky cheese pie. Oh, so god, this is the ultimate flake. Don't trust us with anything. Yummy feta cheese. I mean, this thing. Just listen to this. I don't even have a mic on. Spinach pie. Spinach pies are one of my all-time favorite Greek food items, mainly because ever since I had this in college, like a not nearly as good version in college, I've been in love with this dish. Again, I'm at a hotel buffet. This can't be the best version in Greece, but holy cow, this is delicious. Mm. I can't believe how different Greek food tastes here. I mean, I would expect it to be different, but this just make you reevaluate your life kind of good. It's so good. I'm eating a croissant, which is a really delicious croissant, by the way, buttery, Flaky, very delicious croissant. I'm biting into this crispy thing and thinking, should I just got another spinach pie? I will have another spinach pie. Scrambled eggs with salmon and chives. Mm. This is like a American slash Greek breakfast buffet. Mainly American food items, some Greek. I need to find like a all Greek breakfast buffet or something. Best items I've had so far are the Greek food items. I think it's supposed to rain today. All right, gotta get to the airport before that happens. As always, I'll place a win to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.